Time to play with some clay. I'm just getting ready to uh, edit some video from today. And I wanted to stop and uh, ask you to do something. Like, subscribe, click the bell, and make a comment in my videos. And check out my instructional DVDs, which are linked below this uh, video. All right, let's get on with today's video. Well, I thought I'd try out this uh, clay that I got on online and uh, it's very expensive stuff I mean it's not cheap but uh, it's two pounds and I think I got more than enough to do a, a bust and these arms are real long this is an armature that I I think it was a 12 inch armature that I got off of uh, um, sculpturedepot.net uh, they offer these armatures it's a full armature with legs and everything but I I cut the legs off of it because I really wasn't going to use that. I, I don't want to do a whole figure. I just want to do a study. And uh, so that's what I'm going to do today. And uh, so there is no armature making. It's just, you know, something uh, that was already uh, supplied to me by Sculpture Depot. You can purchase these online. And I'll put a, uh, the link here in this video that you can go to and, uh, and purchase these uh, armatures. And they're great armatures. They're well made. All right, I just got to figure out the head size. And it's going to be about just a little bit bigger than the Warrior that I just finished or worked on. And so, if I go from the center... His shoulder would come out two heads uh, from the center. And I'm going to cut back a little bit for clay to there. This is uh, made of uh, really pliable, wonderful aluminum. And uh, so I'm just going to go in the center of uh, this uh, armature brace and go back about a third. Now I want to just make sure I'm the same width on both. Yep. So that's good. And I'm going to mark on my base for reference uh, the head measure. Uh, I got to find my pen though to do that with. That way I don't ever wonder what my head measurement was. I cover a lot of this, in fact, I cover all of this in uh, my instructional DVDs. And uh, you might take a look at uh, a, review, a review of each of my DVDs down uh, below this video at a link that I've supplied there. And that gives me the half head measurement. Half head measurement is very important. You got to have your measurements and you got to have your uh, proportions correct or else uh, you might as well hang up whatever you're doing. All right, I'm going to take this clay out of here. This is soft enough that I don't need uh, to put it under a light. So I'm going to turn off my light over my other clay. And it's uh, non-hardening modeling clay mineral earth based colors can be blended 
to achieve new colors. Well, that's if you're using more than one block of this kind of clay with a different, uh, you know, color on each one. Uh, sim, uh, let's see, sulfur and gluten free. <laughs> I have no idea why this would be gluten free. I'm not eating it. <clears throat> Maybe externally, gluten has a gives some people problems. So I'm not going to complain about it. I just find it odd. I've uh, put this figure on a. Uh, Lazy Susan, as you can get at any hardware store. Um, I've cut a, board, a couple of boards, thin boards, to put on here to accept, uh, or that I can screw on to the uh, Lazy Susan, so that I've got a platform to screw this little base for this armature onto, so that it won't be sliding around every time I want to turn the uh, clay. Um, these are the legs that I cut off. And I'm going to hold on to those uh, armatures just in case I might need them in the future. Because it is aluminum and it's good good material. Um, I've uh, measured down for the elbow on both arms uh, proportionally so that I know where that is. I don't know if I'm going to do the hands yet. Uh, the end of the uh, armature is flattened. So if you want to do the hands, you can do it. And here's the, uh, I think, product label. <laughs> and uh, I'm not sure I'm going to do the hands. I'm just, I don't know how much I'm going to actually have um, of the arm. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and start uh, adding clay to this armature. And uh, I'll come back. Okay, it's 5.30 in the evening. I spent most of my time just getting this thing ready to go. And uh, so I'll have to come back and do this tomorrow. It takes a lot of time to set up, even if the armature is already made for you. And uh, so I'll have to come back tomorrow and work on this. Unless something else comes up and I can't come back tomorrow. I'm just sketching in the skull and the, the head size. Making sure my the head measurement is exact to what I'm going to be doing, and uh, so I'm just going to stop right here. Pick this up tomorrow. Right now, I don't know if I like this clay or not. It's a little. It's not quite as sticky as the uh, J Mac. Um, and it could be because it's cold, but uh, I don't want to warm it up because I think it, it's kind of neat to be able to work with something that doesn't need to be warmed up. But I'm not going to give up on it. As you know, I plug through whether it works out or not. I'm just basically forming the head getting the basic shape, and then I'll come back and work on the uh, forming of the face and the head. But I want to think what I'm going to do before I quit tonight. I'm going to do the rib cage at least. Now I got the basics down. I got the uh, length of the rib cage worked out. That's where I cut off right here. And uh, tomorrow... I'll shape the rib cage. I'll figure out the angle I want to do on his arms and uh, shoulders. Uh, whether I put the shoulders back or forward, I don't know. I'm going to have to work that out tomorrow. And maybe I'll sit down and go through some body possible poses. It's a simple pose. It's not going to be a hard one. And, uh, all right, until next time, everybody, have a great night, and I'll see you uh, next time. Give me a thumbs up and share my video. And then check out my instructional DVDs, uh, the link down below this video. All right, see you next time.